Well, guys, it is finally time. Over the last couple of weeks, we have been basically reviewing all of the different sites that are in Phantom Forces on various weapons, of course. And all of it has led to the final category, which is the special site category. Now, in here, we have nine different sites, all of which range from fairly normal iron sites to, um... A straight up flashlight glued to the top of your weapon. Yeah, I, I know it's not glue. I know it's a rail system. You can shut up. So naturally, we're going to just straight up jump into this because I think you get the point by it now. And yes, as you can see, starting from worst to best, I believe the worst out of all the special sites is the Maglite. Now, the Maglite is not inherently bad. However, it is a bad site. For one, no reticle. It is literally a flashlight glued on top of your weapon. There's no laser or anything like that. There's no crosshair after you zoom in. It's just a flashlight on the side of your weapon. I guess technically on the uh, on the top of your weapon, but it's off to the side because you don't actually aim down it. You get my point. Not only is it not a particularly good sight, but it's also not a very useful one. Now, the main reason that it is not particularly useful is because of the fact that there really aren't any maps where this is necessary. Now, you could make the argument if you play any Halloween maps, namely maps like Spider Den, which I've been playing a ton on my live streams lately. Make sure to have notifications on and join the Discord so you don't miss any of those. I mean, I guess, yeah, that's a very specific use case, but there's no real, like, actual maps other than event maps that we can no longer play in the main game where a site like this is actually useful, or really flashlights and general, unfortunately. So for that reason, Maglite, I think is the worst. Now we got that out of the way, time to move on to the more painful ones. I'm sorry, guys, I don't know how to put this, but having a uh, hand emoji on your, uh, or two hand emojis, rather, on the top of your weapon as your sight is not particularly ideal. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be mad because this is a meme attachment. It's not really meant to be good, but it also, uh, you know, in actual use case, it's not very, uh, very nice. First of all, I don't know where to aim. Is it on, like, the, the, the slanted part, or is it the point, or is it the point on the left? I don't know. You just kind of have to throw it in a general direction and hope that you hit your shots. Not only that, but it has a super intrusive sight picture because it is a, or not a hand, it is two hands on your screen covering everything up. It's just not a good sight. It's, <laughs> it's just not. But again, it's not really meant to be a good sight. It is literally just meant to be generally nonsense. Nonsense that is unfortunately very difficult to use. No one is here, and with that, I think we're done. I think I've more than made my point about this site. Did I mention that the hand site requires uh, 5,250 kills to get? Yeah, great. By the way, uh, <laughs> please subscribe if you haven't done so already. This is a very expensive video to make. I had to buy a lot of sites. Oh uh, yeah, anyway, the Animu site. Now at the, at the, <laughs> At the risk of making people very mad, the Animu site is not a particularly good site, but not for the reason that you would think. Now, did you notice anything particular about that kill right there? Anything? Anything at all? That is that whenever you actually aim with this, uh, while your reticle is cool, because it's like a little heart with made with hands, it's nice, you got your actual little dot in the middle, that's a heart. Unfortunately, there is a very large person on the right side that takes up so much of your screen that it becomes difficult to see what you're trying to look at. So while the sight picture itself is nice, the, uh, the, the, the huge lady on the side does not help. She blocks quite a bit, in fact. Making it more of a, like, I can't see what I'm supposed to look at here. And especially if they're like off to the right or if they move off to the right, I'm not going to be able to tell because of the gargantuan person on the side. Other than that, I think that the site picture is actually kind of cool. And I would like to see some more sites that have the little heart as the front post because I, I think it's cute. I think it's a cute little touch. Here come the how dare you say the Animu site is not the best site in the game comments. I'm so excited. Like, look, did that guy go off to the right? I don't know. Did anyone go anywhere? I can't tell. I can't see. Now, I'm going to lump the next two kind of into the same spot here because there's not really one that's better than the other, and that is going to be the anti-site and the furrow site. First, we'll talk about the furrow site, and for this, this site, again, kind of has that front post of a heart, and it has the back sights of, I think, the AWS irons. You can see as well, the back side itself is like a heart. You can kind of see whenever I move my sight around a little bit. And I, I think that's cool. It's a unique little sight picture. I like it. There is a, um, I don't know if that's a, I, I don't know if that's a dog or a cat or a wolf or what that is, but it's, it's there. However, the sight picture itself is fairly open, fairly clean. And for that, it's really not too bad. If you want a good set of little iron sights that just kind of have a, uh, funny, interesting look to them, this is, uh, not the worst option you could choose. There are definitely worse. Like I said as well, we're going to lump the anti-site and the furrow site basically exactly in the same spot, and that is because they are essentially the same thing, just with a different iron sight. Now, this one is going to be, I believe, the TRG-42 iron sights as well, and instead of having a dog, cat, wolf, we have a cat 
dog wolf girl the mascot for the game kind of just down there unfortunately we don't have a heart as the front post but we do have pretty okay iron sights that are pretty easy to see out of and again it's not super intrusive however they are iron sights and you probably could do better with like a reticle of some kind otherwise there's not too much else to say about it it's just a sight yeah it's it functions. I know a lot of people are not going to like that it's in the middle of the list here, but I'm not a big fan of the AMT Terminator. Now, the AMT Terminator is a great site. A lot of people like it. It's a lot of people's favorites because it is technically probably the least intrusive site in the game. You don't even have a weapon like in front of your screen. It is just a laser that points exactly at where you're going to shoot. And that's great. That's great for a lot of people. Not for me. Now, to be clear, I don't hate the AMT Terminator. It's not particularly a bad sight or anything like that. I just sit a little bit far from my monitor. So for my personal use case, it's really difficult to see where the middle point of the laser actually is. And especially when firing, the laser gets kind of lost in the tracers. So you're kind of are trying to fight between where is the laser at and where are the tracers going? However, maybe that's more of a skill issue on my part. If you disagree, feel free to scream and cry in the comments. I'm sure you've probably already done that up to this point. Otherwise, it's a pretty useful sight. It's not particularly bad or anything. There are just better options in my opinion. Better options being something that you guys never would have imagined is the handmade site. The handmade site is just funny to me. It's it's just funny. If you want a funny site, but you don't want like iron sites, you, you do this. You do this. Now, it might be a little bit difficult to see in the video, but the handmade site is actually pretty well made. So obviously, it's literally just a cardboard cutout of a scope. And there's no front post. So wherever the middle is, is presumably where you're going to have to fire. Of course, this wouldn't work in real life, but in game, it's great. You can also see that there looks like there's tape and stuff around it. So like it's taped on reticle. It's like taped on the little like glass piece, quote unquote. And it's got like the drawing and stuff on it, which looks fairly detailed. Now, this one does function because there's no front post. It does function a bit more as a red dot of sorts or a black dot i guess you could say i'm surprised that they didn't actually like paint that red but anyway or like red sharpie funny moments but yeah i think this is a super unique and funny site it's not necessarily the best or anything like that i just really enjoy using it and every time that i'm like live streaming or something and someone recommends that i use this it's always fun to me to actually give it a try on a variety of weapons a lot of you guys are going to be confused here by my choice of the oeg site over the amt terminator but there's a couple of reasons here so the oeg has a smaller profile which doesn't really matter all too much but also the number one issue that i have with the amt terminator is the inability to see the laser and if you've never used the site, you'll go, well, where's the site? If you ADS, it comes into frame. So the weapon may cover up more of your screen, but you get this like huge dot that's only there whenever you want it to be. Now, whether that's a pro or a con is up to you, but I personally love having this like giant red dot in the middle of my screen. Have you seen my Counter-Strike crosshair? Have you seen how I play? I like larger reticles. It's very funny to me. Now it is, it is a little bit intrusive. Like if you're trying to use it at range, it can be kind of hard if we go to go like, say we want to look all the way across Metro and I can't see exactly what is in my crosshair because it's way too large. However, on something like the L22 or like SMGs, I feel like you're going to be using it mostly up close anyway. So maybe that's just me, but I really, really enjoy the OEG site. <sighs> Lottie, you are going to be extra confused by this. A lot of you are going to be extra confused by this. I think the Plague Insight, it's literally a bug on the top of your weapon, is the best out of all of the special sights in Phantom Forces. Now, if you just ADS, it's got a super unique reticle. It's essentially a red dot. It bounces around quite a bit and it doesn't look too great, but where it becomes great is the fact that you can alt aim with it if you press T and you get this like whole view of like this kind of cult text that's a style of studios around, the, around it. <laughs> like, and of course, again, a unique reticle for a scope. And also, recoil is extremely good in this site. Now, the main reason for that, I believe, is because it is such a zoomed out reticle. But yeah, I just, oh man, it just looks great. It looks great. And on a lot of weapons, it works extremely well. And yeah, laser pointer city. I really like this. <laughs> oh man, I should have gotten that kill there. But is he still, he's just going to stand there and he's dead. What is going on? That man's lagging so bad. Yeah, the plague inside is just great. Super open sight picture. I could do maybe without the red tint, but it kind of plays into the whole like cult-like plague type thing. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to probably disagree with most of my list. So feel free to yell about that in the comments below. Do you agree with anything on this list? I would also love to know. Again, this video is very expensive in terms of credits and stuff. So if you could subscribe, that would be fan-freaking-tastic. Well, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you have any other video ideas, make sure to let me know in the comments below as well. And yeah, this kind of concludes our little mini-series here of all the sites in Phantom Forces rated from worst to best in each category. And if you want to see the other parts, I actually have an entire playlist up on screen where you could check out all of my rating-style videos for Phantom Forces so you could hear all my hot takes and bad opinions. But also up on screen are the lovely channel members you guys are 
fantastic. I love each and every one of you guys. You're literally incredible. Amazing. Thank you so much. If you want to become a member too, you can do so with the link in the pinned comment below, join button on my channel, or the link in the description. And with that said, if you want to check out more Phantom Force videos, playlist is up on screen for that. And have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching, dudes. Peace.